let's let's do a bit of speculating we've seen episode seven we've seen star wars the force awakens what could happen now in episode eight and beyond well uh obviously kylo ren's gonna be f- um trained um heavily we're going to see hopefully more of the 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 guy behind the shadows you sort of speak snoke Um, yep snoke we're going to learn a bit more about him we're going to see more inside the internals of the um first order i think general hoth will play a much more general larger yeah he'll be like a significant force um definitely in the sequel and i as you say dave i hope it's not like we have to build death star five you know or, or something like that. I, Terrible. I hope. Yeah. <laughs> Too many death yeah. Stars, it it even had the shield mechanism of Return of the Jedi as well in this. You know, just like well, let's put them together. Like, yeah, I just hope it's a, they can get away from that. You know, it's sort of like in Terminator where they always have to go back and kill Sarah Connor. It's like, well, the world's big enough. You don't always have to have that as the central aspect of the plot. Sarah Connor going back in time. Maybe you could do other things, you know. And I hope that's the case in the next one where it isn't about a, a big foreboding Death Star. I think this one was very dark um, in the sense because we lost Han Solo. It was a big loss. Empire Strikes Back is considered the darkest out of the trilogy. And I think that's what they're going to go for with um episode eight i think this it's going to be a very dark one agreed yeah i I think it's going to be through hopefully through revelation rather than loss the director they got for it the director of looper ryan johnson yeah ryan johnson is incredibly talented um so i think they're on the right tracks providing that they have a good working relationship because we've obviously heard some fights with disney and other directors and so forth obviously disney has an idea of where they want to take this trilogy and stuff like that but i just hope they respect his vision enough and he and it comes across you know as good as something like looper look i think uh, we're obviously going to see luke act as a trainer as a obi-wan type as a yoda type for ray who's demonstrated the force I, as I said, Finn and Ray are too much of a brother sister, and I feel like Poe Dameron will meet Ray and fall for her, and they'll be the you know new Luke and Leia, uh, sorry, Han and Leia uh, types. Uh, him being the new Han Solo, they they implied, of course, Kylo Ren will get to finish his training with Snoke, so I feel like he'll become more powerful. Um, I'd like to see Kylo Ren versus Ray in the third act of episode eight you know a kind of i feel brother sister fight um whether or not she's that'll be the revelation that they're brothers and sisters yeah i think i mean people are saying that ray is luke skywalker's daughter which i think doesn't make sense because he's got that monk jedi attitude um whereas twins runs in the family for han and leia and they could have easily hidden the girl and you know it has a good symmetry with the originals um, and it wouldn't be too surprising and crazy. I want to see Kylo Ren kill General Hux. I think that there's kind of a interesting Cain and Abel brother thing going on there. And I'd like to see the confrontation where Kylo Ren says, we no longer have a use for you, kills General Hux. We don't have a significant opposition. Like, I, I predict Finn's biggest opposition is going to be the Stormtrooper that they put in the garbage compactor. I oh, feel Phasma, like... Yep. Yeah, I feel like there's going to be a bit of a showdown between them and hopefully more of a reveal of the Stormtroopers and maybe there are a few more Finns in the Stormtrooper army. Maybe a few of them get punished and killed. Just I wish they'd venture into that, tap into that a little bit more, that drama there. We don't have a showdown between Poe. No, nothing in the Empire that I've seen is um, that can um, keep up with Poe. Poe seems like a significant force that the Rebels have. So I, I'm hoping the General is that um, counterpoint, that he, you know, with just sheer magnitude of power, is able to put up some sort of um, a fight against Poe because he just seems a little bit overpowered. I think we'll see someone lose a limb, we'll get a robotic arm on uh, on Kylo Ren or um, or somebody. I'm hoping there's no rebuilding the Death Star, much like yourself. I think it's been played out. Stop building Death Stars. We're going to see a new mid-villain, I feel like. Um, Benicio Del Toro signed on to do Episode Eight, so I feel like he'll be like a one-movie villain in the style of Darth Maul, you know, something uh, that doesn't really need to carry over to Episode Nine. someone who's because expendable. Because Ky- Kylo Ren is from a group of knights, yeah? Yes. So hopefully we'll see more of them. Like um, maybe there's a few more Kylo Rens out there, and he's like, you know, one of them. Yeah, I mean, there's we don't know much about them. So, uh, but I've, I'm agreeing with you. I think Episode Eight will be darker. I think they have to go darker in Star Wars, and 
this has just been a great start in terms of rebooting the universe, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Check out our podcast at www.podmeifyoucan.com.